There's another abstract topic that's very, very popular with Himalayan art, and that is Mahasiddhas, the 84 great adepts of Tantric Buddhism. Now, the topic of Mahasiddhas really has to be, it really has to be divided into uh, several approaches, and one approach is, uh, is really the religious context side, which is, well, who are these people? Uh, what are their names? What are their biographies? What did they do and why are they important? And what is their legacy today? Okay, that's the, really the religious context side. Then there's the, the um, art history side, which, which relates to uh, their depictions uh, regionally, over time, uh, different variations. And then there's the iconography aspect of it, which is uh, more the technical um, descriptions of how they appear. And for most Mahasiddhas, most Mahasiddhas are, are not identifiable. Um, only only uh, some are. And on the Har website, we have uh, addressed this a little bit with the uh, Mahasiddhas that are more uh, uh, easier to identify, such as Nagarjuna, uh, who's a monk who has the uh, seven uh, cobra uh, snakes behind his head. We have Dombi Haruka, who rides a tiger. We have... Uh, Virupa, who has his hand held up to uh, uh, the sky, uh, pointing at the sun. We have Shavaripa, who holds a, a, a bow and uh, and arrow and wears leaves. We, we have some, but they are not necessarily the majority. They're more like a third or a quarter are, are identifiable. So there's many different types of books that need to be looked at. And when I say many, I, I'm really only talking um, maybe 10 to... Uh, a dozen to a dozen and a half books and then that's it that's really the totality of it in the English language uh, but what I want to talk to you about right now is what I consider to be the most important book available in English uh, for the study the overall study of uh, Mahasiddhas and that book is called Empowered Masters, Tibetan Wall Paintings of Mahasiddhas at Gyantse. Gyantse is a specific monastery in, uh, in Tibet. It's between um, Tashi Lumpo and Lhasa. It's more on the Tashi Lumpo side, but it's, it's between those two major centers. Um, Gyantse has uh, a kumbum. It has a, a, a kind of a stupa with lots of art inside. It has a magun monastery, a main mother monastery and temple with lots of art that has uh, survived over the centuries. And they also have on the second floor of the main temple, there are 84 mahasiddhas uh, that are painted in this beautiful Gyantse 15th century, mid 15th century uh, style, uh, which is um, partially Indian, a little Tibetan, and then um, also a little Nepalese in flavor. So this book is the most important book because of the amount of care and attention that the author, Ulrich von Schroeder, put into the appendices and into trying to frame and contextualize the subject. And so this book, by far, is the most important book right now and it, it can be considered a key to understanding uh, the different uh, types of the different the different uh, types of systems of Mahasiddhas because there is not just one set of 84 there's six seven eight different sets of 84 Mahasiddhas developed between the uh, between the 11th century and the uh, 17th century. So we, we have a lot of uh, material to work with um, and it's really only the Empowered Masters by Ulrich von Schroeder which uh, really begins uh, um, to, to uh, approach it and frame it in a correct way that actual progress in understanding this subject can, can take place. Uh, we'll leave it there for now, but we will come back to this book at a later date. So press the subscribe button, uh, press the like button, and you can join Har on Patreon for um, unique, uh, uh, rare, and unpublished videos and articles.